Hey guys and welcome back. Well, it's time for another Maya video and in this case Maya 2018 to be exact. Okay, we're gonna be talking about UV mapping. This is a question that I received uh, quite a bit over the last few weeks. So that's what we're gonna look at. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, well, it's finally time to talk about UV mapping in Maya 2018. I received this question so many times and I finally decided it's time to do a video on it. Okay. Now, the reason why I was a bit reluctant to do that is because um, since my 2018, there's so many different ways to do this, okay? You got option over option over option, and it basically boils down to what your personal preference is, okay? So what I'm gonna show you is my method. It's not necessarily the method, it's my method, and uh, hopefully it's helpful for you, right? Okay, so let's uh, create an object here. I'm gonna create a simple polygon cube, and we're just gonna go in, right-click face, Control E to extrude, R to scale in, G to repeat last command, W to pull up, and R to scale in. And there you go. That's your object, right? Okay, so what do we get by default? I'm going to right click at object mode. I'm going to go to UV and UV editor. And you get the basic cube layout, which is kind of useless because it doesn't fit our model, right? Now let's make this worse. I'm going to go up here to UV and camera based projection which will give us this and this is even more useless okay now the reason why i'm doing that is i'm going to show you that my process doesn't really involve this right here initially right it comes into play once we're uh, you know a bit further in the process so what i'm going to do is uh, show you how i work directly on the 3d model to identify where i want to cut up my uv and then work on it later on on the right hand side okay so uh, let's see, I'm gonna right click and go to edge and I'm gonna select these four top edges and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to cut and sew and click on cut, which changes the color and creates a new shell, all right? Now let's do the same thing here. I'm gonna take these two, three, four, and we're gonna go to cut again. And it looks like it's all one color, but it's in fact two, right? Now I know that I want this one to be cut as well. So I'm gonna select this guy, right click. Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? Cut and cut. We're gonna go to this guy, edge one, two, three, four. And we're gonna go to cut and cut. And let's do one down here, one, two, three and four and we're gonna go to cut and cut you don't see it but here we are all right okay cool so we got all of that let's see what else we'll do one here and cut okay now uh, I'm not sure whether I have everything covered or not so what I tend to do halfway is to do an unfold to see if I need to tweak anything okay so on the right hand side, I'm now going to go in and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to select all to make sure I've got all shells selected. And then I'm going to right click and go to modify and go to unfold, which gives us this. Okay. It's starting to look better. Now I still have everything selected. So let's see if we can get everything lined up a bit better. All right. So I'm going to right click again, modify, and we're going to go to layout, which will give me this. Now let's identify these individual pieces and see if I'm happy with the result. So I'm gonna right click get a face. When I select this top face here, I see that I got the one down here in the corner, okay? So that's fine. Then we have these four sections and you can see on the top right corner on the right hand side, that's this, that looks okay. Then we got these four, which looks fine. We got these four sides, that looks okay. And we got the bottom of our cube. So as far as texturing is concerned, I'm happy with this guy or the UV uh, map. Now, the thing is based on um, what type of texture you're using, whether you want to change this layout or not. For example, this square right now is tilted. This one is set diagonal. If you have a directional pattern that you want to use in your texture, you can either fit the texture to meet the direction of your UV or you can line this up, right? So uh, for example, we can take this guy and you can hit E and rotate it if you like, and so forth. And you can hit R 
you can scale it up, you can scale it down, you can move it around. Basically, you know, what you know as part of the EV process. So that is my method. Uh, hopefully it works for you as well. If you've got any questions, as always, let me know. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.